Hello, my name's Colette. Welcome to your weekly tarot card for week commencing Monday the 21st of December 2015 and this one's going all the way through to the 3rd of January 2016 so it's a wee bit longer um, for that period of Christmas and New Year and solstice and I, I think um, the universe is having a wee joke with me with this one to be honest although it's quite nice um, the High Priest card 5 is your week for the festive is your card for the festive season sorry getting my words mixed up um and what does it mean for you well you can see it, it kind of looks kind of structured and a wee bit fierce and uh, not necessarily the one that i would have expected to come out for a festive season maybe the ten of cups or the six of cups or various family cards but this is kind of um a poke from the universe uh, to remind us, I believe, what the season is all about. You see, the High Priest or the Hierophant card five is about religion. It's about the sense of society following various dogmas, uh, various ways forward. It's a card of faith. It's a card of um, following a path that you can adhere to and that makes you happy so theoretically it is a very good card for the festive season so um what does it say to us in general one maybe instead of being caught up in all the materialistic aspect of the festive season it's important to remember the religious um and the sort of underlying spiritual meaning of the time and if you think about it, we've got solstice within that time um, we've got Christmas and we've got New Year um, so there's and there's you know we've just come through Diwali back the way and Hanukkah and it's these are all festivals of religion etc that give us hope and give us um, a season a, a festival at this time of year to celebrate light to celebrate family to celebrate god to celebrate goddess it's um although it's mainly a, a god time particularly even with solstice it's about the sun it's about masculine energy that's all in there so what we have to do is realize that this is a time that we should go into ourselves and honor our paths honor our religion whatever they may be and um, take the joyful aspect of it, take um, the ceremonial or the, the, the celebration aspect of it and let that be joy, let that be um, a time of celebration for us. Not a doer time, not a time to become holier than thou, that's, that's not what this is about. For the high priest to come out at this time of year, what I believe he's telling us is just remember the basis of this time of year, why we're bringing our families together, why we're celebrating. It's not just an excuse for as many shots as you can get down your throat. It's not an excuse to get out the chocolates and whatever. It's about honouring this time of year in a spiritual way. And actually, the more I think of it, the more it's a very, very apt card for this time of year. So in general, whatever your path, whatever your religion, um, at this time of year, if there is a celebration, if there is a religious aspect, um, if there's a festival, then enjoy it and enjoy it for the good that these things bring, uh, the, the good the connection that um, spirituality can bring and hopefully let's put away the dogmas of religion uh, that are causing so much problem in the world at the moment. This isn't about this card. All the aspects of dogmatic, horrific um, aspects are, are not really about the high priest they can be in its negativity but this is a happy time this is a time to honor spirituality maybe rather than the sense of the dogma of religion 
So that's its, its kind of general meaning. In uh, as we move towards, um, you know, the time off, etc., that we'll have in career, it can just mean uh, making sure that you do things um, in a very, very straightforward way. You know, if you're finishing off at work, make sure that you've got everything done and you're not leaving it for someone else. Uh, make sure that you have a sense of honour about what you're doing and don't be skiving, that sort of thing. Well, skive a little, but don't leave responsibility for anyone else. Um, in health, um, it kind of means just kind of still take care of it. You know, um, if you're diabetic, don't eat a pound of chocolates. Um, if over the festive season, you maybe have a, a chronic pain disease or whatever, then don't be wearing yourself out, you know, stuffing the turkey and doing everything yourself. Ask for help. Make sure that you pace yourself and you allow yourself to live by the rules that you live by health wise a wee bit beforehand. Just don't discard them all because, um, you know, it, it's it's Christmas, it's New Year, it's solstice. Still continue to remember the rules of your illness. In love, it's about um, kind of looking at the relationship and um, maybe understanding the depth of it. I know that sounds an odd one for the high priest, but what I'm feeling in it, particularly associated with Christmas, is... Um, you know, that way to, to look at the way you're in a relationship and see the good side of it. Check that you're not taking any outdated dogmas or any outdated ways of living forward. You know, you're not your father. You are not your mother. You don't have to keep making the same mistakes. Don't choose a partner that's wrong for you time and time again. It's time to look at relationships. Or if you're single, look at really what you want. Are you are you giving out the right energy or are you attracting people that maybe are wrong for you because you keep repeating past mistakes, uh, the sense of things that have been in your life, it may be in your family. Remember, you can create new ways. You can create your own path within a relationship. And uh, maybe this is the time of year to do it for you. Um, in general, with money, it just tells you to be careful, uh, to not be mad about money, to actually make sure that you take notes of things, you know, even if it's like a logbook, writing things down, um, almost viewing it like um, a, a professional accountant or, um, you know, someone that would watch what they're doing and be quite brutal about it. Um, that's a hard one for Christmas, New Year and solstice, um, but try your best. So quite an, an odd card, but a very apt card if we can take the positivity from it, if we can see that it's a reminder of why we're celebrating uh, across many different uh, paths and religions at this time of year where we all need light, we all need hope, we all need a baby being born. We all need these beautiful things that keep us going through the darkness of the winter. So from me, um, I wish you a lovely solstice. I wish you a merry, merry Christmas and a very, very happy new year. And anything else that should be in there uh, to do with festivals of light or hope, then enjoy. Many blessings. Uh, have a lovely time and enjoy and be safe. Bye now.